Nintendo has been part of a cover-up since 1993, and we're more stupider as a result. This week, the truth. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. We didn't invent the word truthiness, but by golly gosh, we believe in it. Have you ever played Star Fox? Chances are it's made you dumber. The game is just one big lie. It all boils down to one thing. Team Star Fox sucks at flying. Let's look at the facts. Do a barrel roll! Peppy Hare tells us in the closing minutes of the first level, and like obedient puppies, we follow his orders, pressing Z or R twice, joyfully seeing our ship spin like a top, deflecting all incoming lasers, <laughs> and so we barrel roll our way through the Lilat system, past Star Wolf on Fortuna, past Andross on Venom. So impressed were we with this little catchphrase that we make it into one of gaming's most recognizable memes. Even Google got in on the act. Do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Do a fucking barrel roll indeed! Peppy Hair is a lying bastard. This isn't a barrel roll. Not even close. It's called an aileron roll. If this show had any budget, I'd demonstrate the difference by hopping in a plane with an expert pilot, probably including some comedic routine where I was made sick by the G-forces created. Instead, you get some Mythbusters footage and a couple of still images. So you know the shape of DNA, the double helix pattern? Imagine a plane following the path of one helical strand. Or maybe you've ridden a roller coaster with a corkscrew, it's the same thing. That is the true meaning of a barrel roll. If there's another plane doing a complementary helix, it becomes a rolling scissor. The purpose of a real barrel roll is to slow the relative forward motion of the plane without changing direction, causing an attacker in the rear to fly ahead, which is called overshooting. The aileron roll, meanwhile, is exactly like in the game. The plane rotates around its longitudinal axis without leaving its linear path. In combat situations, it's useless. So here we are. We've been made to look like fools. Our prank calls to C-SPAN were for naught. In Iraq, everyone was getting uh, barrel rolled. Oh, sure, I guess do a barrel roll is a lot more catchy than do an aileron roll. But unless this show miraculously gets thousands more viewers, many young gamers will grow up to be the laughing stock of their aviation schools. Tragic. But the lies don't stop there. During the dogfight missions, you have the ability to escape an attacker by performing this move. The game humiliates our intelligence by naming it a U-turn. The maneuver is actually called an Immelman turn, where a pilot makes a half loop upwards, followed by a half roll, resulting in the plane being above the attacker and headed in the opposite direction. This is not to be confused with the split S, which is basically the downward equivalent of the Immelman. Now, players of Star Fox, myself included, would think that this U-turn would make an excellent tactical move considering it works so well when Wolf, Leon, and Pigma refuse to get off our asses, but frankly, it's not. Not. The Immelman turn results in a considerable amount of speed loss, making a plane an easy target for an air-to-air -air missile. Even the more advanced Half Cuban 8, a speed-increasing maneuver that takes the Immelman and ends it with a nose dip back to the plane's original altitude, doesn't solve the problem. So now we have a second example that we're controlling a flying team with zero understanding of the basic maneuvers and how to use them properly. They're doing stuff that in a normal dogfight would get them killed. Star Fox seems to be a game of high-speed, high-intensity space flight, but that's just what they want you to think. Look at this. It's the last of the game's three advanced moves, the somersault, which in real life is just called a loop. The first rule of Air Combat 101 is to avoid movements in a purely horizontal or vertical plane of motion so as to disorient an attacker. Star Fox's quote-unquote strategic somersault ignores all that. But taking it further, one of the basic concepts of mid-air dogfighting is the trading of potential energy, or in this case altitude, with kinetic energy, or airspeed. I'll try to explain. As a plane climbs higher, it's fighting against gravity, exchanging some of its kinetic airspeed energy for potential height energy. 
When a pilot decides to descend, he's working with gravity, thus increasing his airspeed or kinetic energy at a faster rate. As a result of this energy transfer, a fighter jet's movement takes place not in a three-dimensional sphere where any movement is equally likely, but rather inside what's called a tactical egg, where upward and downward movements are affected by these gravitational principles. How's all this relate to Star Fox? Look at the loop. It's a perfect circle. If you don't believe me, time it. The loop takes three seconds, exactly one and a half seconds going up and coming down, which means that they're totally ignoring the physical principles of the tactical egg. The only explanation for this would be that they're going at an incredibly slow speed and braking while descending in the second half of the loop. In other words, they're not flying for their lives, they're not pushing the limits of their machine. Quite the contrary, it's practically a leisure flight. So let's review. No one on the Star Fox team knows the difference between an aileron roll and a barrel roll despite it being one of the first moves taught in basic aerobatics courses. The Immelman turn, which is the fanciest move in their repertoire and the one that they rely on in open air combat, realistically just makes a plane an easier target. And the fact that the loop ignores basic principles of gravity shows that they're in no big hurry. The saddest truth of all, though, is that these three moves are all reserved for air shows. Definitely not during life or death dogfights. Nintendo's Space Aces are really just a bunch of flight school rejects. But is it really all that surprising? I mean, would actual pilots want this guy as part of their team? Whoa! Help me! I didn't think so. Do an aileron roll. Yeah, that's never catching on. Can't say I didn't try, though. Anyway, it's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Aileron roll.